something that I feel like everybody needs to hear lately because it seems like everybody's going through some type of thing. If you're not, then it's going to happen sometime because life's messy. Like nothing ever goes to plan. And then when things are going smoothly and you finally have momentum, something's going to happen to kick you off your path, cycle, roller coaster, something. It will just it will just kick you off and things like like something as simple as a long weekend or two long weekends or one of your kids getting sick when you just got into starting a habit and you just got into feeling better if you're someone that I have a reel on this that I need to put up but if you're someone that always berates yourself for stuff like that says something negative for stuff like that if you're someone who's quick to put yourself down I'm always a failure I always struggle I never stick to things if you're someone who does that then the more often that you do that the more the easier it is to do that same thing so what happens is every time you say something negative it's almost like you're putting a handle on something and every time you repeat the negative thing every time you do the negative whatever it is you're fortifying that handle and then adding another one And the more handles that are on it, the easier it is to pick up. So if you're always berating yourself, if you're always putting yourself down, fucking stop it. Like, stop being a dick to yourself. Shit happens. You're human. And this is exactly why I grind my gears over macro coaches and trainers and coaches who only focus on food and training and programming and oh just needed a calorie deficit oh you just need to do more cardio oh you just need to stop eating so much I think I just sounded like Bart (laughs) Bart from Sesame Street I almost said bloody bananas in pajamas my bad I think he's from Sesame Street I don't know but I just sounded like Bart so stop being a Bart to yourself but literally like eh, there's so much more to it and something I just said to one of my girls is most of the time I don't care about the training and the nutrition because yes I can make the training and nutrition freaking advanced as shit because that's what I spent thousands of dollars on like I spent thousands of dollars on program design and on learning nutrition and getting certified in all these different things just to be the best that I can but the real thing of it is no one can stick to things for the long term and people always fall back to their old habits so what does any of that mean if you're a human and if you fall off track oh just get back on track again oh I can't stick to this oh you just need to be more disciplined you just don't want to bat it off it's like no it's not that you don't want to bat it off it's that the plan that you're on right now isn't the right one for you in this very damn moment And I have the least self-control. Literally, I have zero discipline. I have zero everything. Like when I had a bad relationship with food, I used to have the peanut butter that, I hate peanut butter, but I just, I don't know. I just had this thing where I just liked eating it for the sake of eating it. And then I'd beat myself up, but whatever. I had to have all that stuff locked away with a lock and key in another cupboard because I couldn't control myself. And if I couldn't eat the whole box of cereal, I'd have none in the house. Now there's cereal everywhere in the house. Now there's no lock and keys anywhere. Like, it's not about discipline. It's not about self-control. It's about your environment. And something to remind yourself of is you can make all the progress, all the changes you want. But if you are still in the same environment, it is hard for you to keep going all of the time. And even without that, like, you're, there is like a sp- There's like this emotion wheel. If you Google it and type in emotion wheel, there are so many spectrums of emotions on that wheel. And a lot of the time we just say, I'm stressed. Yes to cereal. I fucking love cereal. But the thing is, the cereal I love the most, I will only eat. Here's another thing. See, you have to know whether you're an... This is what pisses me off. And if you want to hear me rant on it with another two people, you can listen to my podcast on it. But... The people that say, oh, just eat a donut, oh, just do this, just do that. Like, no, 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 no. Because 
Sometimes eating that donut leads to 10 donuts. Sometimes eating that donut makes you so hungry or crave more food. Or sometimes it just sends you spiraling because now all of a sudden you're on a dopamine high. But <laughs> back to the cereal. I will only have the cereals that I really freaking love when I am not at home. Because I love like Nutrigrain, I love Cocoa Pops, all that stuff. But the thing is, it is not volume like Wheat Bix is. Wheat Bix is my favorite cereal. It tastes delicious and it's volume, which is why I eat it. Yes, I will put Nutrigrain with it sometimes, but I'll have to have both together. And when I'm away, I don't mind that much because I can have huge meals, as in like calorie dense meals that are small, like you saw with my massive foot long and my massive plate of Thai when I went away. Like, yeah, I can do that when I'm away because I'm only eating three times, four times. Whereas at home, I have a routine and I'm a sucker to that routine. And it's just what I like doing. Like, don't make, don't let anybody make you feel like you're not doing things right. Don't let anybody make you feel like, oh, why can't I eat normal? Because what the fuck is normal? Like, the more that you try to eat normal, <laughs> the less you're going to feel like you're getting anywhere because you're always going to be comparing yourself to other people, always feel like you're behind, always feel like you're making no progress. Like, everybody's normal is different. And you will never feel like you're making progress if all you do your whole life is compare yourself to other people. Oh, those people are already, like, everybody's getting married. Everybody's having babies. Everybody's doing this. Everybody's doing that. Like, what's, what's the purpose here? To make yourself feel like shit or to actually focus on you and what matters to you? Because another conversation I have constantly with one of my girls is, oh, but all my peers are doing this oh, but I feel like I have nothing that I'm really good at. Oh, but I feel like I have nothing that I can just make my passion, but everyone else does. You know what? I went to an academically selective high school where everybody, including myself, got, well, not everybody, but like I was in the circle that got an over 95, 98 ATAR, which is something that can get you into like crazy degrees. And yeah, I went into that degree, but I'm just saying like everybody went on to be like a dentist. Everybody went on to be like a lawyer, an accountant, like all this stuff. And I could easily say, oh, I don't have a real job. Like there's so many things that I can compare myself to if I feel like I should be comparing myself to them. But where is the joy in you living your own life? Anyway, I hope that helped as a rant. I don't even know what time it is 10 o'clock hope that helped as a rant I felt like running today because I didn't do my second cardio this week and it's just like you know what as hard as it is to get shit done sometimes when it's a new habit it feels fucking awesome when you're finished but yeah anyway hope that helped it's not about how many boxes you check off how perfect you are, how good your life looks, because how, who gives a shit how good your life looks on the outside if you aren't even truly experiencing it, if you're not enjoying it, if you're just going through the motions, because the thing is, true happiness doesn't come from always being happy, it comes from being able to experience all the emotions and not let them get you down and not let them tear you apart, that's what fulfillment is. Because I get all the emotions too. I struggle as well. I find it hard as well. I get stressed out as hell as well. I think I said that right. Yes, I get stressed out as hell as well. But the more that you sit with it and think that it's wrong to feel that way, it's wrong to struggle, the more that you sit and dwell on it, you're never going to make it out to the other side because you're not allowing yourself to feel it and realize that it's normal, it's human. And there is no such thing as not being there yet because where the hell is there? There never comes because you can get there, but then there's still there. So, yeah. Hope that helps. I don't know whether it did or whether it didn't, but I felt like I just needed to speak it out because speaking, I like so much more than writing. Even though when I write, it feels like it's this long, but then it's like this long. So, 